We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other and it's all coming up next. Brian Johnson a left handed Floridian will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak what do you got. This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Here's the first pitch to him. Underway now in the weekend finale as the first pitch is looked at for strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Matty, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set, and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, Dero, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to be the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Wow, third pitch of the game? That looked like a pretty good pitch. If that's called a ball, it could be a rough night for the pitchers tonight. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Batting second, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Now to the plate, Aaron Judge he comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. Here comes the first pitch. Johnson isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V I'm not sure it's this guy's fault but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup throw into second and this will wind up a closer play than I thought but he's in there with two bases as we look again at that double here you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. Swing and a miss on the heater and it's two and one. Hey boys you talking about getting your a swing off right here. That's what it looks like a guy with massive power letting it eat. Nope. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Three ball. You would think in this situation maybe with a base open he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Pilar's there. Two down. Batting four. The left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. Coming in for his first at bat, Giancarlo Stanton. And we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Going one.
comes set. The 0 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ben Intendi heads back on it, and it bangs off the monster. On to second, but he's in safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The catcher. This is why it's so Gary. important to give your cleanup hitter an opportunity to hit with runners in scoring position. He does just what he's supposed to do, lacing a double and driving in a run, just like you draw it up. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Stanton stands at second with two gone. Nope. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. Nope. Fastball, okay. close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Two and two. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up, and it's an early 1-0 New York lead. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, so far this year, this guy hasn't pitched very well on the road. He's actually struggled on the road, so it'll be interesting to see if he can turn that around here in this one. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Red Sox, the left fielder, Andrew and Benintendi. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. 2 and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Strike. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now the 2-1. Is strike two swinging. <laughs> Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Batting second. The second baseman, Justin. Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Pitch on the way. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. One out, nobody on. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one.
three and oh now. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. And that's in there, three and one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. This one's flared off to the right side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting third, the designated hitter. JD. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez, Martinez, his career line against Garrett Cole. He brings a 4-for-12 line. He also has one home run. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Cole gets the sign, two one on its way to two and two now fouled away two out nobody on and a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. That's 1-0. and oh. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The 2 2. Pedroia now at second. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting seven. The designated hitter, Gio Urshela. So digging in now, Gio Urshela, and he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. 
Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that, that high fastball, the first a baseball. high piece of cheese who swung at and missed. Boy. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average coming in at 266, 13 home runs, and 29 driven in. The 1 0. Ball, that's out. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Lead inning. Off. And that'll Four bring up, forth the slugging shortstop, shortstop. Xander Bogart. Xander Bogart. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. The one two is laid off for ball two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, gotta feel like it's a win for the offense. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home is in there. A called strike three. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have the calls fit. go their way the on close pitches, pitch. but not Rough this time. Out. I think that was actually Never. a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first and get him score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground that ball. Exists. Nevertheless, there the are two baseball. away now. Mitch Moreland. So striding in, Mitch Moreland. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. And he lays off there, 1-0. Count 1-0. has his target. Here's the delivery. Yep, that ball went Moreland, out. originally from Mississippi, is currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know yep. he, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, 
as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Junior. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. Here comes the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Two out with the man at first. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They still trail 1-0. Digging in, Mike Talkman, and he'll start out their half of the third, the top of the field. order to follow. Mike Talkman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. The 1 0 home. Softly hit toward the hole. A barehand play by Pedroia. Oh, Not in time. Remarkable now play just to stop the that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff That's man is aboard. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The white right boy so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fight him. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Aaron Judge is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1-0. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Hit hard to the right side. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's now best friend it. right there. The inning was Labor. off to a rough start, right? Four. But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. So a man at third here with two gone. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. I'm set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no fight. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. 
pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. And a strike to even the count, one and one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ranging back is Bradley, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And there's ball two now. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Yankee strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2 0 New York. Bottom of the third now. And standing in is the veteran the outfielder, right Kevin Pillar. The right hey, field. we're still in the early Kevin. stages in this one. They're only down oh. by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go Batting about up. his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly Love because of his Becky. stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And here's the catcher, oh, Kevin Ploiecki. One and oh, the count. Pitch on the way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, the left fielder, Andrew. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Cole's ready. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out.
behind 0-2 now. Benintendi has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down two to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready now, Gary Sanchez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Gary. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And it's fouled away. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. DJ LeMayhew is down for out number two in the top half. Bring in Giovanni Urshela as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 is a fastball that misses. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The 3 0 pitch. Hey. Hit on the ground toward the left. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. The first baseman, Luke. Into the box Voigt. now, Luke Voigt. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. 
Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. One ball and two strikes to count. Working for the punch out and the offering. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right Mike. now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. The 1 0. Taken, strike one outside corner. Look out, 1 1. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. That ball is foul. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three-two pitch. Grounded to third. Devers has it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Things not, not looking good. very good so far in this one, but Run. we're still in the oh, middle no. innings. They're down by a couple of runs, well, no. and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Here's a swing and a miss, oh, no. one and one. One and two oh, no. as he chases the slider. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Pedroia is retired, and there's one away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. 
Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Three, Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Bases are empty, one man out. Full count still. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, no it's batter. better to Number battle two. a slugger like that Good to the job. end and end up walking him Bender. than serving one up where he well can done. really hurt you. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Steal, He's set. Steal. Here it comes. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. It bounces, but he's out. A nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work out that walk, but it got erased pretty quickly. Always hate to give outs away on the base pass, especially when you've gotten on base for free. Outside for a ball, one and one. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for Boston. They trail it here two to nothing. Marcus Walden will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 64. Mark it. Walden. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's one for two in the ball game. The third baseman. Miguel Andujar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey! And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he fouls this one off. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Fine. 
Now the three and two pitch. Chopper to short. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth yeah. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Aaron Judd. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. One out, nobody on. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And the pitch. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. Two away. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. To the plate now, Torres. Okay, so take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Now the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And there's a base hit on the line. So a solid single to left, and that gives him a multi-hit game back. here tonight as left he tacks on to his total, Jump currently forward. third best on the Yankee Ball Club. Giancarlo Stanton now, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Cutter low, one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here now is Rafael Devers. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they the look to break baseman. through on the scoreboard for Rough the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball Never. is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Fouled off. One strike now from Cole. A 
on the strength. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. And he misses two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Well, I think this will be ruled an now error, so the no-hit bid is still alive. Bid. If it's not, there might be a riot oh, in the dugout, and rightfully so. Striding in for Boston, Mitch Moreland. He drew a base on balls his first time up. the stretch here's the pitch off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone nobody out runner on first two and oh now they obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them walked him this first time up and now they're nibbling again now the 2-0 home finds the zone strike one. This is on the ground over to first. Torres at the bag. Return throw gets him at first. It's a 3-6-1 double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough 3-6-1 double play. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Cole into the windup. Here comes the first pitch. At the ball. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. So they get a two-out base runner here following the base hit, and that leads us now to bad. check out the league right leaders in team batting yeah, average. And we find oh, that these guys are oh. currently fourth best in that category in the junior circuit. Into the box, Kevin Pilar. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. A runner on first with two away. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. A ball and two strikes now. First, Cole, and a dive, but he's back in there. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Red Sox leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. The he set to start it out Gary. for the Yanks here in the sixth. Here comes the first pitch.
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Two balls. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Here now the 2 2. I can't miss ball. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Payoff pitch home. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind it early one and two. Didn't panic or start chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. He's set and the pitch. And that's dead center for strike one. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Runner, yes, Runners yes. Runners on the move for second. Line drive to center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And the throw will come in quickly from center. So despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra no, base here. Well, that's surprising right there. Hit and run tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the third. Into the box now, Gio Urshela as he lines it out to center. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the way their pitcher is going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, towing the slab. He's on fire right now. In now, Luke Voigt. And she'll take a look at ball one. Count one and oh. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. None out, runners at first and second. And it's one and two. I got to count one and two. Now a ball pulled hard but foul off to the left. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Skied into straightaway right. Pilar's there. He's got it one away. The batter, the center fielder, Mike Talkman. Coming to the plate now, Mike Talkman. A hit in two tries so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And it's one and one. Runners are at first and second with one away. He pulls this one into right. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. 
boy, there's a Next bullet game. base hit right there, but the you have to hold there, d to make yeah. sure that gets down and, and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. The 1-0. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Still only one out in the inning. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. The 1-1 one -one home. Skied down the left field line, and this will wind up a foul ball. Bases are loaded with only one out. Hit hard on the ground at third. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. One run scores. And those are plays that now cost you ball games. The You're already ball. losing, and then you make Lane an error like that to compound Four things. Right. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. Darwin's in Hernandez is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play Number ball. Bases are loaded here with Darwin only one man out. Hernandez. Standing in, Torres. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. From the stretch, out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. One run is scored. And the runner from second is in to score. It's seven nothing. He wasn't letting that one go. Now that Jumped on the first pitch, pitch right there and drove Just it into the outfield for a base hit. So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Got a piece, it's two and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And you know, there's just so few places in the strike zone now where you can keep this guy from hitting the ball yeah. hard. That really is not that bad of a pitch. Just a little bit down and away, but he's all over it, and he cashes in a run on the double. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fouled away. One and two to the Yankees catcher. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two fly ball out toward left center field. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. Riding in once again, D.J. LeMayhew, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball, that's inside. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Gio Urshela. to the plate now Gio Urshela That's as the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone it's ball one he's two for three and looking for more here that misses two and oh now you can see he's working around this guy right here why not first base is open walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot Two zero home. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. On to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, now they didn't like the their chances base. there. Well, talk about Ooh. having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D-Row. 
three for four not a bad game yeah just not trying to do too much Dan taking what the pitcher's giving him right here if the fastball's away shooting it the other way if he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate turning and burning a little bit nice execution he's working on a one for three thus far. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here's the 1-1. Out in front here is this one scorched. Foul to the left. The 1-2. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Big inning for them, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees 10 and the Red Sox nothing. Stepping up now, Kevin Ploiecki. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. First delivery to him on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy now with a strike out there, and it just no seems field, like man. we've seen so many off-balance swings Bennett, and weekly Bennett. hit balls in this one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. A ball and no strikes. No hits to this point. The 1 0 home. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The batter number well, the pitcher 15. can't really worry about second that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave them out there now. Standing in, Dustin Pedroia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Line toward the gap in left center. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. And the runner scores from second as they chip into the deficit here. Now back, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. Nope. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 
One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Runner at first here, one man out. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in a count if no you're a pitcher, Number because two. you have to cover Short both stop. pitches if you're a hitter. Then you her. have to cover the off speed and Close the fastball. Up. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed, and what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now a rocket deep down the line and left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Well, that's demoralizing right there. Nice job by the offensive the player getting the head out. The that's got to upset you, thinking oh, that ball yeah. might have went foul. But you know, Never. you hear all the time that the game baseball is a game of inches. One inch one way or the other could have been the difference between a foul ball and a base hit right over the third base bag. At the plate now, Rafael Devers. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Cole sets here it is on one and oh just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike you cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations the hitter is on high alert three and oh to him now two men are on with two men out. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 oh, that they were not going to give the this guy base, anything to hit. Miss. Sometimes you have to pick your battles Four and man. they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Hit softly down the line at first. Scooped up, and he'll He's step up. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Red Sox settle for just the one. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees lead it 10 to 1. Riding into the box, Mike Talkman. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Here's the 0 1 pitch. That's out, 1 and 1. Two 
two to count. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. 3-2 pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 3-2. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. So the lineup flips over and digging in Miguel Andujar. He's set. Here it comes. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Pilar will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Now at the plate, Aaron Judge. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count one and oh. Runners on first with one down. Hard on the ground towards short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. That was actually a well executed fastball in to in Up off the, the plate. Credit the offensive the player. He smelled that Labor. coming, turned and burned. Torres. Ryan Brazier comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ryan Brazier. Stepping in now, Torres, as he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. First and second now, one man out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two misses, ball two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And now a double play ball, perhaps, for Pedroia. To second for one. On to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. Now that That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Digging in to try it again. Giancarlo Stanton. And their runners at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. Here's the 0-1. One now one. a fastball here. Not close. And it's 1-1 one one now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. 
hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Moreland has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ladies Yanks strand a pair. They the hang on to their 10 to 1 lead. Digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. Leading he off. singled his Four last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone the knows he's been slumping. Dad, Jackie. you can certainly attest to this, Bradley. only amassing a solid Junior. one hit in your oh, entire no, career. No, no. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Bradley waits on the 1 0. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, they've, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And it's fouled away. Hit hard down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. They haven't no, had right, much luck so far five. tonight, so they'll definitely yeah, take that extra base in. Whoa. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. The 0 1. Here's a fly ball well hit. Judge is on his horse. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The batter. The catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. Digging in now, Kevin Ploiecki. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope, that's down. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys? Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. The 1-0 delivery. That's inside. 2-0. Rip down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. You no, know, you try and execute a pitch, Dan. I'll leave now you batter. to answer that. But right no there as a batter, you see Andrew. the infield back. You take everything, Betting. all the variables into consideration. You're not trying to do too much. Anything on the ground that stays off the corners gets you an RBI. Now mix in the fact that it found the hole, and he's got a knock to go with it. You know, it's so frustrating as a pitcher, d -Rook. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball, one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. That's foul. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The 1-2. A 
On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. The batter number 15. Second baseman, Justin Pajoya. Next up for the Red Sox, Dustin Pedroia. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. And that retires the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead this one 10 to 2. New inning set to get underway. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher Gary Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. Ball inside. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. That evens it up one and one. A ball and two strikes. One ball. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The one two. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You know, these kind of at-bats can drive you crazy when you're on the mound. I mean, he's been ahead of him pretty much the whole time, but he just can't put him away. Not only that, but it's costing him a lot of bullets. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three now times he's gone down on strikes in this one. Okay. So they've really figured out Love how him. to attack this guy. Standing in now, D.J. LeMayhew. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Next will be the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. 1 0 pitch on the way. Ah. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. It would look like the fastball got away from him there. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Ground ball left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, and the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two.
Your Luis attention, Sessa please. will come on in relief now, here and appear in game number 25 number on the year so far. Luis Sessa. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Lead and off. into bat next, one of the best off. run producers in the, the land, J.D. Hitter. Martinez. JD. It doesn't look very promising Martinez. so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Owen won the count. And the pitch comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. The 1 2. That's the ball. I got the count. 2 and 2. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by LeMayhew. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Nope. Fastball ball. just misses. That's ball one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Ball. The count. Two one. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all now hard stuff it. until Third the fifth base. and final pitch Rough for the strikeout. Out. When you work off Never. your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 1 0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. Three and two the count for Rafael Devers. lifted down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball he 
And this is taken for a ball. He walked him. And the Sox had themselves a two-out base runner. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Into the box now. Mitch Moreland, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Two out with the man at first. Fastball called for strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Fouled off. A runner on first with two away. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Filthy change up that time but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Another one sent foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. So striding forward now, Luke Voigt. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line hard. Foul. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball one. one ball, one strike. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Now batting, the center fielder, Mike Talkman. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Talkman. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 1. 
that was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with a change up right there. Up Usually you're eight. trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike Miguel. count. But clearly he and wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Into the box Miguel Andujar oh, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Inside, ball two. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Here's the 2 0. A bouncer up the middle. Bogarts has it. Pedroia on to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Yankees, 10, and the Red Sox, two. So here now is Jackie Bradley starting things for his side Beating in the off. ninth as Warzo, they face the improbable the odds of field. trying to come back Jackie. in this one. Yeah, not Bradley. a lot of hope for them at this point. These Junior. guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And right into the shift, but this is foul for the first strike. High in the air down the right field line, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's the ball. And that's his strikeout pitch that's right that's there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. The one two and that's lifted the other way out to left Stanton coming on he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out the right fielder number five Kevin Pavlov. settling in now Kevin Pilar he flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes this the other way to right. Judge is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good now for the home nine. The Boy, sometimes they say you Kevin. hit it hard and good things will happen. Whoa, well that's not the case here. right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Stepping in Kevin Ploiecki. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. First pitch on its way. And no oh, swing, apparently. Ball one. And it's fouled away. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Two out, nobody on. 
Ball three. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The 3 1. Last strike now for the Red Sox. A bouncer to the left side. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning when they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. Ten to two, the final in this game. The New York Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Garrett Cole earned his ninth win of the year. Brian Johnson was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.